everybody, and welcome back to uh, Joe Painting Season 2 Smash Series. Uh, this is Episode 2, and we are doing Yoshi. You can see me drawing them right up here. Um, this was a pretty good turning point because I wasn't really sure about how these pens and these canvases and this whole scheme was going to work out. But um, I'm just two portraits in, and I'm already feeling really great about it. Um, Yoshi had a lot of great opportunities to explore different techniques with these paint pens. So um, let's jump in. I'm finishing up right now, and you'll uh, get to see that right here in this episode. All right, see you in a bit. All right, everybody. Welcome to round two of the Smash series. Today, we are working on Yoshi. And just because uh, he's mostly green, we're going to start with our green. And this, uh, this Posca pen is a very generous paint pen. Some of them you gotta fight to get the pigment out of the pen, but this one is just rearing to go. Oh, look at that. So yeah, get this nice first coat in here as best you can. Woo, Yoshi. Spreeu. And I'm going with this nice like pastel green. I know he's a deeper, more forest green, but this is my painting, damn it. I'll do what I want. And he's got some more green that juts out over here. Goes up here to his eyes. And so this green here is his body as well as his arm that's kind of juking out to the side. Then over here it's a little shoulder, and that just folds right down. And remember, if you're not too confident with these thicker brushes, if you're using them, or these thicker pens, and you have the smaller ones, go for it. And you can certainly use that 5M, that middle ground size of these pens if this is what you're using. Um, but it'll, for this area, that would be very, very difficult. Luckily, I have these nice wide chisel brushes. All right, next, we're moving on to the white. A little bit of red in there. Yoshi. I see you, Yoshi. It's okay if one color encroaches on the other. This is still just layer one. You can come back later and sculpt it out a little more confidently. We just, uh, we're tackling the fog of war right now. We'll go back and collect our resources later. Whatever that means. And then I'm just gonna fill his eyes in. I'm not gonna worry about the pupils I drew. I wasn't too happy with those anyway. These eyes, not much to them, so we can go ahead and get a healthy uh, layer of white in there. Might need to let it dry a little bit before you can layer up a little more. We'll go ahead and do that. Let that dry. Oh, forgot. Gotta come down in here. So I'm starting with orange here. He, they're a little more red in there, but I'm gonna do a base of the orange. Just give them a little outline, and then I'll work in my red down the road a little bit. So yeah, maybe it wouldn't be too hard to fill this in with a with one of these size here brushes um, take a lot more time for sure but you can definitely do it and I'm gonna move over to my red and just go ahead and get some of that ink flowing and color in his little tongue here perfect all right we have our base colors in. Where do we want to go from here? I might use this green just to darken it up a bit, perhaps. Let's see. How do they want to interact? 
And I'm just real gently pulling this green up a little bit just to diffuse it. Just to blend it in lightly into that lighter green. Cool. And then I'm going to visit Yoshi's arm down here. It's a good way to differentiate between his arm and his body. His arm is in shadow from that honk and nose. And we'll do the same thing, just kind of ghost it down here. Any, any Yoshi mains out there? Not too many people play as Yoshi, but when they do, they kick some ass. All right. And then later on, we might come in with our black and just add a little, little, little bit, little bit more depth to this green. Some good contrast as is, but we can push it a little further. And same thing over here. You know, she's got a little armpit. And then, shoop. I think that kind of alludes to his tail. But we'll pull some up. There we go. Cool. And he's got a little. And definitely some shadow here from his big ass head. Luckily, this green's turning out to be the perfect value to establish his shadows. Kind of give his eyes a. So you know what? I'll bring in and that same green, but a smaller one. A little bit of some Yoshi highlighter here. Probably visit with our black as well. I think our white has dried enough. I can add another, another pass. Making art stuff. I don't know if you'd call this art. This is picture making. I'm recreating a character that's been around in my life forever. I'm uh, mimicking a pose that I found on the internet. This is a technical exercise at best. And then from here you can springboard into making whatever pictures you want that are yours. That's art. Again, let me just add another layer of white, just beefing it up because using white to cover up black isn't the easiest. It's a bit sloppy. You can really, they contrast so much that you can see all of the textures of your brush strokes and whatnot. So you kind of have to lay it in there and layer it in there. And before long, you'll have a base of white. And when you keep layering more white on top of that white, it'll just build a, a, a heftier base. And you won't have all that black peeking through. All right, I'm going to go ahead and Jump over to my red in my five millimeter, that middle size, and I'm gonna visit these uh, little Yoshi spikes back here. Really use this time to sculpt out those little spikes. And we'll be doing like we did before and just bringing in um, our black to really refine these edges, add some definition. So I'm just kind of using some hatching to lightly pull that red and orange together, but not totally covering the orange towards the top, leaving that as highlights. I might go ahead and just outline the whole thing in this red, as it, the red contains the orange, rather than the red is held at bay by the orange, and vice versa. It'll show that the dominant color is red. I like that texture I did with Samus. I just had like this little squiggly swirlies. Allows the colors to sit and exist independently, but also interact in an interesting way. 
Again, just building up the white, helping it contend the black canvas. Gentle strokes, just not to displace any drying white that's already there. And you'll slowly start to see that, that black canvas melt away into the background. And so there's a little shade up here, so I might just leave that as is and focus on at building up my white towards the bottom because his belly kind of comes down and out. And so there's less of his head to cast a shadow here so that his belly receives more white than up under his neck. Again, giving that feeling and sense of depth and dimension as best we can achieve with these pens. And so, I'm gonna take my sky blue, and let's see, how are we doing up here? Are we still wet? A little bit wet, that's okay. Cause it'll dry and we'll keep beefing it up. So I'm just gonna anchor his eye. And then there's this boundary, and then small black pen to establish his little nostrils. And then but down here we got some pretty Totally has this like eyeliner thing going on. And I'm just kind of giving him little accents as I go. Using the black to generate some pretty awesome contrast. Cool. So now I'm gonna pump up one size to my other black and then I'm gonna start filling in these pupils. I'm gonna leave a little white spot. He's got this little light shine in his eye. But he's Yoshi. He's happy about everything. It's pretty goo. So as those dry up, I'll um, add more of the blue of his eyes. And then I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do pink again, just like I did Samus. Give him this awesome energy outline. Make him look like a watermelon. My main focus is just um, hitting right up against, kind of sculpting that nice edge between where the pink meets the, the rest of the painting. And then I can go back and build that out some more. But this pink is an opportunity to cover up any unwanted lines or forms that popped out of the outline of your figure. All right, here's a tricky part. I like this little lazy Susan. It's like, I feel like a magician. And these little tighter areas I'll save for I, the smaller pink ones, so. No worries trying to get this big tip in that small space. That looks awesome. I love it. Let's get one more line of blue. Around Yoshi's little eyes. I want my Fine black. I think my next step is I'm going to start dotting this guy. Yeah. Got some yellow little dots going on out here. That's sort of my major 
design motif that I'm carrying over between each of these is this little, these little energy fields around them. This makes them pop off the page, look like they're ready to, ready to brawl. Do yellow, do some blue. And then we'll take our 5M, our middle pink, and do what we've all been doing with these, just kind of wisping out here. It's okay to come out and do like some lead lines just to show the direction. Because I kind of pick a center point and emanate out. So if you do these, you can fill in the gaps and be confident in the direction that they're going. Yoshi, you look hairy. This one goes out to all the Yoshi players. Mario Kart, Smash, Mario Tennis, Strikers, Mario Party. The lightning bolts. I saw the craziest lightning driving home the other day. It was way off on the horizon, but it was amazing. Full on like lightning, like just had all these veins. Like it was, I would not want to mess with that lightning. Some little, maybe some sparks were separating and they're floating around. Sound effects really help you come up with these shapes and these forms. All right, so now I'm gonna take my little white pen, kind of work on any highlighted areas, just kind of work in some of this little stitching, this little hatching. Real subtle. And again, don't forget your squint trick. Just, you can squint and paint too, just to see how. Squinting kind of, it reduces the amount of information and really focuses on the larger plat like the larger continents that need attention from what you're trying to do. So I'm trying to lighten up this green a little bit, but I'm definitely not trying just to put white on here. Just kind of what's happening. So I'm going to pull up a little bit. But when you squint, you get those more ambiguous bits of information. Looking good, Yoshi. I'm going to do one more application of this white up here because this is a highlight right here. Like I said, down here, there's a little more shadow, so we can allow that black canvas to shine through and do that work for us, like we did here. You can see there's that, you know, there's more of that black canvas shining through in the white, creating more of a gray. Here, I've added more white and really just beefed up the white. Now we have that contrast, and we can see shadow, and shadow gives us dimension. But yeah, I'm digging this. I'm going to give him a couple little... Arm highlights there. He's got a couple highlights up here. Let's use this little dude. Let's see what happens. I can always go over it with black. Now I like this fine one a lot. I'm mainly doing this just to tie all these elements together, making it pop out. Careful that texture of the canvas, that's really rocky road. That's all right. That's all right to beef these white lines up a little more. I don't think they're detracting. They're really energizing these areas, really allowing like this drawing to pop out of its shell. Yoshi pun intended. Very gently, just adding a little more white here. Again, just to create that cover up. Create those lighting edges. And then push, pull, and then lift as you pull. Create that kind of fuzzy, diffused light effect. That's what I'm going for. Still got our handy dandy green. Come in here and
pulling out my tiny pink. And I think I'm just gonna let this kind of drag out. Closer to the base, I kind of want to create more continuity between these little electric lines and that big, thick pink outline. So I just create some small little phenomenon there, little, little lines, just to beef that up a bit. And you can get squiggly with those too. Don't have to be straight. Hell yeah, Yoshi. Welcome to the crew. Anything else I want to do? Just want to give him a nice distinct line here. Man, these are fun. I'm having a lot of fun with these. I hope you painted along with me today. If not, um, grab some colored pencils for next time. Crayons, uh, Poscas are awesome. They also have some uh, non-Posca brand paint pens at Michael's. You can grab those too. I'm sure they're just as good. And I can't wait to see what you guys are creating. Tweet it at us, let us know. I love watching you guys just enjoy it. A lot of you tweet and say, I hope I'm not offending you, but I usually put this on when I go to sleep. It helps me sleep. That's awesome. I really like that. Even if you're not using these videos for art or general enjoyment, if you're getting some peace and quiet out of it, I'm doing my job. All right, lovelies, I will see you next time. Yoshi. All right, catch y'all next time.